if you want to test the ventilation in your house, maybe start, start smoking. smoking. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know? In my apartment, I put in a new ventilation system mm -hmm. and uh, I've lit some incense and then you kind of see with the ventilation system off, it's just like one line of smoke going up. But once the, um, the ventilation system goes on, it starts to kind of wobble around and circle and, and eddy. It's kind of fun. Yeah, so fun we, use, we use smoke uh, quite often in building science and air barrier testing specifically, but also mm. looking for you know, ventilation and how effective it is. You yeah. can you know, use smoke to see the air movement. Yeah, yeah. There's not really any way to do it otherwise. Uh, hot, well, here's a hot tip. Oh, okay. Yeah, anecdotal reviews. So I was uh, asked to look at a, uh, a pool room that was having some moisture issues. Moisture issues being condensation in yeah. places? Yeah, so okay. this condensation is happening down the hallway, sort of like the pool, like when you go into a hotel and you can smell chlorine in the lobby, mm. you've got a ventilation problem. The, ba the balancing's not there. I've been to hotels for like, <laughs> is this the right pool room floor? Yeah. I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, that's the floor below. It's just like yeah. infiltrating the floors. Um, but what you can do if you don't have smoke mm. um, and you're not going to start smoking, got it, is toilet paper. You take a piece of toilet paper and hold it up to your door, mm. and if it, which way the door it blows. Sure. We'll tell you which way the positive pressure is. Um, I refer to that as air leakage tracer paper in my report. Tracer paper. <laughs>